Hello, friends, and welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Who's here? Anrath, hello, welcome. Bright Gamers, hello. Or and Scrooby YT, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We are playing, of course, some more Doki Doki Literature Club. <sighs> I'm tired today. <laughs> Today's a tired, sleepy day, so if I seem slightly off today, that is why. TGIF, though, it is Friday, so thank goodness for that. Sayori is still a conglomeration. No, not conglomeration, an algamation? Al One of those words, I don't know, of all these other three. <laughs> um, I don't remember anything about where we left off. I really, <laughs> I really do not. Um, we'll click on this. As per usual, though, for anyone that might be watching that is new, viewer discretion advised, it is also a horror game um, disguised as a visual novel dating simulator for those of you that are not familiar yes uh, I think I was gonna say something else too don't remember what it was oh well again I don't I don't know what the Natsuki Monica situation is Yori seems to be like in trouble but we'll find out what that even means in a minute I think we just got done uh, sharing our poems or something I'm not entirely sure I remember and the big boy Mo and Natsuki snapped her neck well she did but then she didn't like that didn't even happen Natsuki like started saying things to us and then like snapped her neck and like moved at us and then like none of that happened like it was like like everyone moved on like that didn't happen and Natsuki was fine so um there's definitely something going on there don't remember where we left off in this conversation but I will just start at it anyway I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. Oh, that's right. Um, Monica wants to get everyone ready for the festival to get new members, and Yuri and Natsuki are not into it. Um, they were hesitant the first run through um, when we had Sayori. They were hesitant, but uh, now they just pretty much down downright refuse, and Monica's kind of broken up about it. Um, yeah. But what about you, Joey? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone in a while, once in a while, um, I, I appear to be bleeding out of the eyeball <laughs> a lot now. <laughs> so if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Oh, um, alright. Why is your eye bleeding? <laughs> Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. That's right, she like stormed out because she's got some issue at home where she's not like, I'm, I don't know, there's there's something going on there that I, I can't begin to explain because I don't know how much of, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how much of Natsuki is herself versus what I think is being controlled by like Monica or something. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. <laughs> Monica. I want to do something I can- I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. The question is, will Natsuki even show up tomorrow? That's my, that's what I'm wondering. Shall we go, you, uh, Joey? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Joey before we leave. Were we about to go home with Yuri? Because uh, last time we went to go home, the whole thing got like glitched over and skipped, so we didn't get the chance to actually talk to Yuri. Monica seems to be trying to block that for some reason. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Hmm. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. I wonder how much Yuri knows, too. What does Yuri know about Monica? Because there seems to be some suspicion here. Okay. 
I trust your judgment, Monica. There's like a level of suspicion, but it's kind of like she doesn't know why. I'm not entirely sure. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Joey, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And the background's going all blurry and staticky, and I don't think we're going to make it home. <laughs> and I really do care about you, you know? Do you, Monica? Do you care about me? Because, uh... I don't know if I get that. I don't know if I get that message quite as loud and clear as as I think you want me to be getting that message. I don't think like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Oh, I don't like seeing. Not think. I don't like seeing them give. No one's giving me a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. See, that's. She's not. No, there's something going. No. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. No, being a little bit what, Monica. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Yeah, that's fourth wall breaking again. Monica, you're disturbing. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Oh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things that I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! Well, that's interesting. So, like, I've been suspecting that Monica is in charge of the game on some level, or in charge of aspects of the game, but, like, with the whole, wait, not yet. So it's like, maybe she's not in control of it, but she's aware of it somehow because she didn't want the screen to turn black yet. It wasn't her choice for it to turn black and for us to move on, and yet the game has to move on. Because she's trying, it's, it's kind of like she's not trying to talk to Joey. It's kind of like Monica's trying to talk to me, because she's the only one we've met so far that breaks the fourth wall. And it sounds like she needs something from me, like she's in trouble or something, but like also, possibly the cause of the trouble. So I don't know what to do about that. I don't know how to feel about that. All right, gamers, I heart your VO mo, lol. And Earth Natsuki is me. See, Natsuki's not so much mean as she has a complex with, um, what I say before? She's got an inferiority complex. She feels like she's um, constantly being seen as inferior to other people, so she needs to one-up everybody. She needs to um, assert her weight. She needs to assert dominance. She needs to push around people to not be inferior. It's not that she's mean. It's that she's she doesn't know how to overcome her own complex, which I think is a slightly nuanced um, difference there. Which is kind of funny, because it's not like she needs to push herself around to be superior to Yuri. Yuri... You see, Yuri is funny, it's like she's her opposite. Yuri does have a superiority complex, but she's also not pushy about it. While she believes herself kind of better than other people, she doesn't actually constantly push, like, like um, try to keep people down for that. Granted, her style and Atsuki's are both different styles, so of course there's already some friction there, which apparently is really good at setting Natsuki off. And when Natsuki gets set off, that sets Yuri off, and that's how we got our shouting match from before. But we do know that there's thought manipulation as well. Because going as far back as Sayori, Sayori was constantly complaining about how she wasn't feeling things she was sure she was supposed to feel, and how she wanted to go back to a time before. So, like, there's, like, a shift in feelings and changes. Also, um, we know from when we looked into our files, the happy thoughts image... I've pieced this together, by the way. I haven't talked about this yet. There's the, the, the happy thoughts image with that like picture of the like, kind of drawn girl that's kind of like jumbled up a little bit with the red bow. It looks kind of creepy or whatever. The red bow, Sayori wore a red bow. So it was kind of like her happy thoughts had been corrupted. So it's very clear with Natsuki going all demon with everybody that like some part of Natsuki and her thinking is being corrupted. And the question is why and is someone behind the corruption? And it's that corruption that's creating the meanness and the friction. Not because Natsuki's mean, but because she's got a complex, so that doesn't help her like personally, but also there's someone 
or something that's also altering everyone's uh, relationship or feelings or something along those lines. Let's make this poem. Uh, we're gonna try to go for 10 and 10 again because why not make everybody happy, right? <laughs> why not? Uh, might as well. Uh, what would be good for a uh, nightgown? Peaceful? Childhood? M Melody should be good for you. I wanna go. Oh! Oh my no. Oh! This is broken. Um, are we on five now, I guess? Uh, I, I assume? How, how about socks? Yeah, it's just adding ones instead of like an actual number. What well, poof? Oh! You see that? A head started to pop up. Whose head was that? Was that Monica's? Poof. What, what could poof be? Can we do more poofs? Like, what would be another poof? Maybe friends? There's a white bow down there. Uh, that's Monica. That's definitely Monica. Monica's the white bow, right? Monica's trying to assert herself into the trio. Weird. Weird. Okay, before I lose track of the numbers, though, I do want to add some on to Yori. Uh, before we, cause, cause I want to get uh, someone Asuki, someone Yuri, but we also want to see if we can get Monica into this. I guess. Uh, do we want that? Wait, anger. Anger did not suit. Anger shouldn't do Natsuki. Yes, yeah, something has changed with Natsuki. Anger is usually well. Yuri's not usually angry either. Maybe, maybe I don't have any. How about insight? I could be. Pout is doing Natsuki. How about disaster? Grief. Tenacious? Contamination? And maybe depression. That should be enough Yuri and that should be enough Natsuki, I think. So how about like Boop? No, Boop Boop is definitely still Natsuki. Is there anything here that's Monica-ish? Headphones? Who would like headphones? Natsuki, apparently. Twirl? Ah, what is this? Ah, oh, this is the red bow. Again, it was the girl, it was the face of a girl with a red bow. Which could very well be Sayori. Because, and the reason, that I was, the only reason I figured this out, I'll pull it up just real quick, is the friggin' Steam page, whoopsie. I, I, I minimized, I minimized my screen. There we go. Anyway, this... This image, Sayori's got the red bow on the Steam page. That's the only reason I, fi I, I figured that out. So, like, why are we still seeing images of maybe Sayori? I don't know. Okay. Did I miss any comments from you guys? Probably. <laughs> He's becoming too smart. He must be removed, you could say. Or, yeah, I think you're right. Monica's not completely in charge, and she was directly talking to a, the player, like you said. Not Joey, but Mo. Right. Gustav. Gustav, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. My favorite French, um, person. <laughs> you're too smart, you're becoming well. Gustav, ah, yes, it is your friend Gustav. Good to see that you are in good health, my friend. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you're in good health as well. I clearly can't see you, but I hope you too are in good health. Or, well, Natsuki is really sassy. She is sassy, so she might be related to anger, perhaps more than Yuri. That's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. Okay, wh where even are we? Okay, I guess we're back. I guess we're walking into the classroom. I don't know what that image was supposed to be, and I don't know why that keeps coming up. Because... If that's the, it's kind of like the whole Monica thing. I was, I'm, I was slowly starting to believe Monica was behind everything. But why would she have those images of what looks to be Sayori when she tried to delete her? It doesn't make any sense. Hi, Jerry. I've been waiting for you. All right. Are you ready to continue reading? Oh, that's right. We're reading a book with Yuri. Even though that made Natsuki really mad. Even though we weren't committed to reading manga with. Anyway. I brought my best tea today. Monica! Oh, excuse me. As soon as I did Natsuki's voice, I realized that I definitely need a drink of water real quick. Mm. 
fun fun fact, every time you hear the piano, that means that either Monica is in the same room as you, or she is possessing one of the... Oh, mate. Oh. I've not thought about that. She does constantly... Well, not constantly, but she has said she works on piano. I hear piano now. Interesting. I don't know if I entirely believe you, but I'm going to pay attention to it now, that is for sure. I told you not to! Ugh! Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Well, that's a little forward. That's actually a lot more forward than I'm used to Yuri being. Huh. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or, or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did something I, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. You don't want more guy competition? I'm I'm enough man for you, Natsuki. <laughs> well, not me, but Joey. I guess I should be more specific, since Joey is the character, and me is... I might possibly be a character in this game on the fourth wall side of things, because if Monica's talking to me, like, through the game, then it's possible that I'm kind of, like, a character in the game as well, so I should be, I should be more specific about that. So! Natsuki... Nobody cares. Yeah, see, and yeah, and Gustav, I hadn't paid attention to the piano, but I do think when the text goes bold like this, that is not them. So I don't think this is Yuri saying this. It's either Monica, it's either the game, or it's some combination of the two, I'm not sure, because this is just not something Yuri would say out loud to Natsuki. She wouldn't do that. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Weird. That's a weird suggestion. Natsuki's shocked, as well as she should be, and she's starting to cry. Um, okay. Interesting. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Did Natsuki leave the room, or is she still in the room? I don't- what- what actually happened to Natsuki just now? I know she left, but did she leave the room? <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. See, this is more Yuri's style, but she was super hostile to Natsuki, and she shouldn't have been. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Joey, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could- we already have plans today. That yeah, that was very pointed. Like what? Like you're ignoring Yuri to specifically talk to me. And it's because Monica doesn't care about Yuri cuz she's been trying to talk to me and we got cut off at the end of the last day. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Joey's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It, r it really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. <laughs> Alright, Joey. <laughs> okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. 
Th that that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Maybe we can talk to Monica or Natsuki while she's away. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. What what was what was that? Did she just leave? Ten minutes pass. What do you mean ten minutes pass? Monica wanted to talk to us, didn't she? Because in the ten minutes, we could have talked to Monica or talked to Natsuki. What did I do? Just stare at a wall for ten minutes? Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Question marks? Is this a voice we... Is this a voice we don't know, or is this Sayori breaking back into the game somehow? Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! I don't know what voice to use. Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around... The, I hope it's just like an, a literal owl. Ho! Oh, oh. Ho! <laughs> from around the corner. It sounds like breathing? A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh, Jesus. Oh, maybe she dropped the pitcher. Kill! Oh, oh, a sharp inhale. It's not, it, boom. Yeah, the most logical. We're going backwards in time. Those messages all went in reverse. And her arm was totally cut up really bad. Natsuki did claim that Yuri was the cutting type. That she cuts herself. That, Natsuki said that. Of course, Yuri does wear long sleeves and it's quite possible. But why did we see that? Okay. <sighs> Or she was feeding the raccoon? What raccoon? Yeah, guys, no, don't, don't, I, I can't, I don't know what the spoiler was because I can't see it in the chat, but don't, don't, don't get too spoilery in the chat. That's what I'm going to say. Gustav, you're saying Yuri cuts herself. I say we technically don't know that yet. We technically don't know that yet. Um, although Natsuki claims that she does. Yuri seemed uncomfortable about that claim. Yuri does wear long sleeves. It feels like this is probably likely, but we technically don't know that yet. Although, from what we just saw, again, it appears to be very likely. Thanks for waiting patiently. Joy, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. I hope she wasn't... Like, because the ten minutes... That... I hope that's not supposed to insinuate that she, like, literally cuts herself in between, like, breaks. Like, for fun? I hope not. I'm hoping that was... Because we went back in time, because all those messages went backwards. So it's kind of like, so if we have a, um, a line in time, we had a split. We had two splits. We went down the path where we found her cut, went backwards to here, and now we're going this way, apparently. My question is, does this timeline still include herself leaving, cutting herself, and coming back? Or was this other timeline just completely made up? I don't... What was fabricated and what was real? Anyway. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try to express myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Joey. 
I'm always worrying about everybody, apparently. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't, e I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Joey, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. But no worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Didn't know about that. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... M m my... Your posture, right? No, she, does she have a back condition? Or again, or is this like self-harm thing where she's hurt herself and now her back's bad? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. That's, that's it. it. That's totally not it. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, oh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate can- Why do I have chocolate and where did it come from? When did that happen? I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Because <laughs> we're on the floor. Where did the chocolates come from? I can't see too well. No? Oh? Yuri slides closer near our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need, all, I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. How do you... <laughs> how do you accidentally... <laughs> I can't even imagine in my brain how they're sitting in such a way that holding a book and a cup somehow makes it magnetically more likely that he's going to touch chest. I don't know how that... I di <laughs> how, how? Anyway. Whatever. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Or she has, and she's not letting on. Whatever. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Dot, dot, dot. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Again, I, I don't remember getting chocolate. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the, ra uh, the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's... Am I offering chocolate or the reading? That's okay, I won't take any. I'm apparently offering her chocolate. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. Well, maybe don't get so much chocolate on your fingers. You'll be okay. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Oh no. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. Joey, if you're about to just shove a piece of chocolate into her mouth, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Because Joey, that is super weird. <laughs> She simply po <laughs> She's just she's just gonna accept it. She's just gonna take the chocolate. Okay, sure. Sure, why not? We're just we're, we're doing I don't know where this mystery chocolate came from, but I'm eating it and apparently feeding it. Sure, why not? She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop there. What, what <laughs> I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh? <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly breaks, like she noticed for the first time what it was I was doing exactly. Did, 
Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Joey? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. But I'm weird, so apparently I did that. Uh-uh. Yuri... Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Alright. I... I can't... Joey... Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Joey... My heart... Why, why is the screen black? My heart won't stop pounding, Joey. This is not what I was... What's happening? I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. She's not, like, allergic to chocolate, is she? Like, deathly allergic? Like, clearly she would have told us that, but, like, maybe this is one of those things where Monica has somehow changed the code of, of Yuri's character, and now she's gonna die of chocolate or something? Can you feel it, Joey? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. That's... that's disturbing. Sorry, I'm just looking at her face, but like... With the lines and everything. What's going on? Ah. Ah. Okay, we're doing the haws again. Like, she's breathing. Kind of like from when, we, from when we were in the hallway. So she's doing heavy breathing. Her, I think her eyebrow just twitched. I... I don't- I just don't know how to feel about that. The music completely stopped, that's for sure. Uh, um, it's time to share poems. How much of that did Monica see? How much of that did Monica know happened? And how much of that actually happened? So, this is my predicament right now. How much of that was real? Because, like, with the Natsuki thing, when she went all demon eyes, cracked her neck, and, like, charged at us, and then suddenly that never happened? Like, she was totally fine. It was as though nothing happened. How much of that was real? How much of that happened? And how much of that was f not real? Kind of like when we out went out in the hallway. Who should I show my poem to first? As though everything's completely normal. Oh, good. <laughs> um, run, right? Right, game, invasion, possession. Y possession, perhaps. That is quite likely. And with run, demon. Yeah, yeah, Monica to the rescue. Uh, but, like, if that was possession, though, why did Monica interrupt it? That's my question. If Monica was possessing Yuri to be freaky like that, why did Monica interrupt? She interrupted to stop that. And if she was possessing Yuri, she wouldn't have needed to stop it, like, herself. She would have just stopped it. You know what I mean? Not with her her form, but just stopped. So if it was a possession by Monica, w Yuri wouldn't have been like that. So, was that actually Yuri? Is, like, is, is she actually, like, I don't want to say disturbed, but, like, is, is, is she kind of, like, psychotic or something? Is she actually weird? Is she being possessed? Is it the game? Is it the glitching? Was that like a glitch like with Natsuki's demon eyes? Was that like a glitch like that? Because it seemed very uncharacteristic to just boom, all of a sudden, bam, chocolate, tips over teacup, stands up quickly. We're going to show our po poem to Monica first. Because I want to read, basically I want to read Monica's poem because hers are always like... I, I do very much want to read Yuri's poem, though, to see if we get if we get any new information. But Monica's are the ones that usually break the fourth wall. Joey, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Yes, please do tell. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. Okay. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. I think that, I mean, yes, but there's more to it than that, Monica, and if you know more, I would really like to know it. 
which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Oh, oh, oh. So when she went out to the hallway with the pitcher, she, if, if she was excited about us. So yes, so the cutting is actually a pleasure thing. It's an enjoyment thing, which is a different, uh, um, um, psycho, not psychotic, but that's another psycho thing, psychoanalytical thing. I, I don't have the words for it. I am not a professional psychologist, obviously, but that, that isn't cutting for depression and sadness is different from cutting for pleasure, which is like masochism, right? Is she a masochist? I don't know. That, that could change a lot of things about what I could how to approach Yuri. Isn't that kind of messed up? I mean, it, it's a bit messed up. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. Dude, who, weren't we talking about Dexter one of these streams a while back? Is Yuri gonna straight up Dexter us? She's gonna like us so much that she actually murders us or tries to. Because so far, I've been worried about Monica murdering the other two girls, but what if one of the other girls tries to murder Joey? I've never considered that being a possibility. I mean, it's even, uh, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. Right? I think she just gets some kind of high from it. I, we, I was just discussing this, because I initially believed that the cutting accusation was from a place of depression, because she seemed lonely. But if it's a form of masochism, if it's a form of pleasure, that changes... That, that's, that changes fundamentally, like, a lot of things. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. Well, I've not been enabling her. Not, like... Like, not purposefully. I'm, I, I'm just existing here. <laughs> I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it to, uh, explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. Also, it's interesting that Monica knows this. Granted, I think I know why she knows this, because I think she has access to the character files, which means she has access to all the characters' actual personalities. Monica knows the most about everybody. Okay. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. She definitely wants me to write those poems for her. That's why her head started to pop up. That's what's happening. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Do you? Do you know how to treat your club members? You, you, you seem to let people fight, and you seem to let things get instigated. So I don't know about that, you know, about your head being together. Even a crazy person thinks their head is in the right place. Everybody thinks their head is in the right place. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, effective. Effective? Here goes. Oh, good. Oh, good. Your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collect- Jeez, that really startled me. I wonder if I was playing on not a Windows 10 computer, if this would have a different screen. That's interesting. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. Are you writing poem or are you writing code? And you just try to virus me. Is that what the insinuation is? Oh, you're trying to break into my computer. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Who should I show my poem to next? I'm not going to address that. So how much of that did Joey wit- Joey doesn't even exist, does he? Cause Joey's just a liaison for me. So Joey gets to pretend nothing happened because Monica wants nothing to have happened, right? It's like, it's like Monica's trying to escape the game? Does that make the game the antagonist? Does that make the game the murderer? Or does that still make Monica the murderer? Adolf opens the door. Quiet chat? Sometimes chat gets a little quiet, probably just because I'm doing a lot of reading. Yuri likes knives in game one. I can't, re I can't even remember game one now. But yeah, I think I remember... 
I think I might remember that because I remember making a Dexter comment. So it might have been uh, then. It makes them herself, I think? Okay. Right, gamers, especially crazy people always think they're sane. Because, yeah, everybody wants to think they're sane. So even if you're crazy, you're like, I'm not crazy, I'm sane. Everybody would say that. Or you're asking great questions, Mo. Thank you, thank you. Jessica, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. That seems suspicious. It was super suspicious. It's more than suspicious. It's like downright condemning. Okay, let's give our uh, thing to uh, your uh, our uh, our poem to Yuri next. Finally, <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. She was last time she did hug, like literally hug our poem. So I love it. I love everything about it. Joey, I, w I want to take this home. Yuri's definitely starting an altar of us at home. That that's just what's happening. Will you let me keep it? I want to say yes. Is she going to actually give me the, cha the choice? Please? Sure, I don't care. I was wondering if the game would let me choose yes or no, because I feel like I should say no, just to make her step back a little bit. You know what I mean? C kind of like with the enabling thing. Not to get her too excited. But at the same time, I don't know if it'd be good to, like, make her angry, either. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Joey. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. I could die. That is not a normal thing to say when someone's nice to you. N not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? I don't know if it's okay anymore. I'm usually pretty open-minded about people's thought processes, but there there's weirdness happening. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I do need it back, Yuri, just to show Natsuki. Because I did write a few cute words, too. <laughs> I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch my... Ooh. Ooh, while reading it over and over. Okay, yeah, it's become a sexual thing. I see. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Yeah, that's not that's not normal. Um, okay. Um, uh, um, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't want you to have my poem. In fact, I would like to take my poem and burn it. Yeah. See, I thought Yuri was. <laughs> then again. To be fair, this is all the bolded black text, and that's significant. We have to remember that it's possible that actually Yuri has been altered in some way. Remember, Yuri's character file, we couldn't even open. Um, who, who told me to open them the other day? I can't remember. Was it Brayton? I don't remember who told me to open the files and as, as pictures. We could open Monica's and Natsuki's as pictures. We couldn't do that with Yuri's. So it's quite possible Yuri's has been altered, so I don't know how much of this is actually Yuri, and how much of this is either exaggerated Yuri or fake Yuri, because it's, it's, it's a possibility it could be either or. Bendy, welcome to the stream, I'm so glad you could make it. I'm not catching everyone's chat, unfortunately. Uh, Natsuki, hello, welcome to the stream. Um, it's slightly, slightly odd that there's a Natsuki in the chat as well as in the game. And <laughs> I kill everyone, Order 66? Uh, probably. That is probably the end result. Let's just be honest with one another. <laughs> Chocho. Oh, no. Monica, Yuri loves pens. Why is there a Monica and Natsuki in my chat? Are one of you, like, messing with me? Are one of you, like, messing with me? Anyway. Uh, right, gamers. Bendy and the Doki. Bendy and the Doki machine. Oh, my God. Mash up Bendy and the Ink Machine with Doki Doki Literature Club, just smash them together in some sort of terrifying c game. Whoop, I'm back! Yay, I was here yesterday! You were here, Natsuki. Oh, I've got a Yuri in the stream chat now, too. I'm starting to su suspect there is one person in chat with like three different accounts of Yuri, Natsuki, and Monica. I am starting to suspect this. Bendy. No, please, no Bendy Doki. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move on. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Is it gonna be. 
Oh, I just thought it was gonna be just random words like last time. This is literally illegible. It's got some blood on it. Like you were probably doing the cutting and such. There's some yellow on it, which has me highly... I'm actually almost more disturbed about the mysterious yellow liquid than I am the red liquid. Because the red is like just gonna clearly be blood or ketchup, right? <laughs> the yellow... I'm really hoping she's not urinated all over this, because I'm going. I'm. I am at almost my peak levels of, of grossed and disgusted right now. Thank you so much for subscribing, Natsuki. I will write you poems. Coincidentally, for all of you that are watching, if you don't know this, I actually do write poetry. Do I have a link in the comments? Uh, not in the comments, in the description of this video. I have no idea. HastilyMadeDecision.com. I write poems every now and again, and I put them up there. Just complete side note, complete coincidence. But yeah, thank you for subscribing. Um, I literally can't read this. I'm looking for anything that looks like it could be a real word. This kind of looks like Belover or something. Like maybe she's a Belieber. Um, I, this is illegible. This is Farnarfel. Far, Farnafalu? I have no idea what's happening. Oh. Um, Yuri, you're a, you're a little close. You're a little close, Yuri. You're, a, you're just a teasy bit close. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. Yuri, I can't read it. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about Cthulhu, apparently. Because I can't read that, so it must be Cthulhu. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Yeah, is that what the yellow was? Your scent? A little ode de Yuri? See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? And she snaps out of it for a second. I... I think I'm going to vomit. Again, so, like... Is it possession? Is she being possessed to specifically be this level of crazy? Like, it's kind of like the Monica thing. Is she being possessed to be that level of crazy? Because it's possible that Yuri has her own demons that she fights, and she has her own kinks and, and whatever. She has her own weirdness. I get that. But is it being exaggerated to the extreme by possession and I'm willing to believe that's the case because we just saw that weird glitch out when it when, when when it cut back to this scene there was like a blurb glitch so like something got disconnected and she's running out of the room probably to actually vomit hopefully not to cut herself maybe I should chase after her but that would be a little weird if I ended up chasing her to the girl's bathroom then you were like do I run into the bathroom which could be the responsible thing to do. It could also be the perv thing to do. You never quite know what to do. Uh, anyway, I'm very worried about what Yuri's actually leaving the room to do. All right, we're gonna show our poem to Natsuki next, of course. Now, I'm curious to see how normal Natsuki's going to be. Early in run two, she was getting all demonic with us, but now she's not so much demonic, but she also remembers like nothing. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Oh, I did, she didn't give it back. Oh no. What would have changed if we would have done Natsuki first? How much would have how much of this changes if I would have done Natsuki? It's it is definitely important who you choose first. Okay. Gross! What is with you two? Hmm. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. I wanted to, Natsuki. She took it. I didn't I didn't want to give it to her. Joey said she could have it. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Okay, oh. This doesn't even have a title. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been some something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth, I'm reading it fast in case it disappears. I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know that I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. 
As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Secret notes. Secret notes. That, uh, that's such a good idea, too. Because Yuri wanted to tell us something forever ago before the whole going crazy freaky on us situation started happening. Back when, like, Run 2, Yuri was still, like, pretty normal. She wanted to tell us something about Monica. She wanted to tell us something about Monica. I know it was about Monica, and Monica wouldn't let it happen. And now it's, like, too late. Like, now we're off the bridge. But what can I do? Okay. Oh my god. Does that mean if we write another poem to try to ignore, to like not keep pushing Yuri? Do we write a poem that has nothing to do with Yuri, no words at all, and try to avoid the situation? Is that, uh, is that a good idea or a bad idea? Obviously, I, I think we're going to get glixed out. I changed my mind. She's, this is the bold text. She's being possessed or something. She's lost her face. Ignore everything you just read. Monica found out, or the game found out, or both. I, I don't, I, I don't know anymore. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Joey? If you would, just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. It's gotta be Monica, because Monica wants to spend time with me, I think. I don't even think she wants to spend time with Joey. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Yuri and I, yes, she's definitely being possessed by Monica, which was hinted at in the chat earlier, but I just needed more confirmation about what was going on. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. You want me to click just Monica. I'm going to save right there. I should have... I'm, I'm thinking about this just now. I'm just now thinking about how there's nine slots, or nine pages. I should have been saving a lot more often and going back and forth, shouldn't I? Like, every time I make a decision, I should go back. Even if I make the same decision or change my... I, I'm starting to think I should have saved a lot more and changed my mind a lot more. I'm not used to thinking like that. But I'm starting to think, because like when we went out in the hallway in time reversed as though it didn't happen, I'm starting to think that's what I was supposed to be doing with the save feature this entire time was going back and forth and changing outcomes based on what I learned. Oh my gosh. Okay. Kind of like if I had saved, so I, I could load it now. I'd have to do some catching up a little bit, but like... When we did the poems, and I started with Monica and then Yuri, and then I got to Natsuki. Natsuki, I didn't have a poem to give her. What if I had chosen Natsuki first and had a poem to give her? Would Natsuki have still given me that poem? Would that have changed anything? Would going to Natsuki first upset Monica or Yuri? Anyway. Do it. Don't click. Click it. Fear will come. I'm wondering if there's, I wonder if I, I wonder if I can choose not to click it. So like, what if I, uh, what if I go to the main menu and just, I mean, I don't think this is going to change literally anything. No, this, this is still here. Um, I didn't know if re refreshing it, if reloading it would change anything. It doesn't appear so. I guess I'm going to click just Monica. Smexy Beast, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. Pendy, it's a trap. It might be a trap. I just don't know what else I could possibly do. You can't see what's happening. What do you mean you can't see what's happening? You mean on screen? Is there something wrong with the screen? I I guess I'm going to click just Monica because I have no... I, I don't have anything else I could do. 
Because even if I could go back and change who I showed poems to, there's not really a way I could have changed the outcome of the of the Just Monica situation, right? I guess I'm going to click Just Monica. Unless this, is, unless this is one of those things where if you just don't click anything for like 60 seconds, it moves on, but I doubt it. Lake, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. Um, viewer discretion, we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. It's, it's not me. Oh, okay. I have no idea then. Alright, I guess I'm gonna click Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Team Salva. Just Monica. Has she deleted the other characters? Has she has has she actually done it now? Hang on. I don't have I don't have it open. Uh, browse local files. Characters. They're still here, or at least Natsuki and Yuri are still here for the time being. Have I gotten anything else? Can you hear me? The copyright, DDLC, happy thoughts, I, log, traceback. I don't think I have anything new, not that I know of. I want to click no. Oh, a dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke, and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was, and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. Okay. Okay, everyone. Hang on, I'm gonna check my files again just now that we've done that poem, because... Nope, no new poem. Okay, pull up the game again. Okay. I wonder what would have happened if I clicked yes, if I would have gotten a different poem. Because I clicked no, just because, you know, fight the power. Smexy, you're back! Did you have to, like, refresh the page or something? Yeah, I don't think there was a joke. Just that a joke was told. I don't think they explain it. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. So it's weird that we went through the... I wonder if I clicked yes if, if Natsuki and Yori would have been deleted. Hmm... <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Okay. Look, can we just get this done? So we're preparing for the festival again, so are we pretending nothing happened? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Hmm. Yuri, yeah, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Weird. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. She is the vice president. Why are you so anti-Yuri? I know that. You... I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. Yeah, like the decoration, like, like... Monica, if you exist between games, if you know what's happening, you know that we gave Yuri the job of decorations last time. You could have just said that. So I'm going to make decorations and set up uh, some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? Uh, what about Joey? Joey is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know? She swears a lot more in the second run. She swore like once in the first run. Or at least that I remember. All you care about now is dragging Joey around with you and your stupid books! You and Monica! Hey, I didn't even do anything! 
Okay, then why not let Joey decide to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Joey make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez! Joey, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? There's at least a semi-good reason to choose all of them. If I choose Monica... Oh. My mouse started to move toward the middle of Monica by itself. If I go to... If I go to... If I go to someone else's name, my mouse starts to move towards Monica. Okay, so what I was gonna say, before I noticed that, what I was gonna say is that there's a semi-good reason to choose all of these people. Monica would get us more straight to the point, because it's clear that Monica is trying to get alone time with us, and has been for a while. We could go with Yuri. Um, I, I guess mostly because she's the one that's most, like, it's counterintuitive, but we could go with Yuri, even though she clearly seems super obsessive and possibly gonna murder us. We could go with that route to try to see if we can find out more about her life. Because I, I think if Joey dies, it's just game over. You start over. We don't actually lose anything. So it might be beneficial to learn as much about Yuri this run through while we know she's crazy. You know, has been acting obsessive is what I mean. It might be beneficial to do that now, even though it might be dangerous. Or we could go with Natsuki, because she's the one that, if we wanted to team up, she's the one to do it with. Because Yuri's getting obsessive, and Monica's clearly trying to is trying to change things. Natsuki would be our best partner at this rate. However, all those reasons being said, that's my thinking. That's not Joey's thinking. So if I chose, like, say, Natsuki, it's quite possible we end up making cupcakes and licking icing again. You know what I'm saying? Smexio, oh, this is a cat fight. Cat fight. Anarath, Monica is safe. I, I I don't know about that. Monica won't be creepy or evil. Natsuki or Monica? Because that's just it. I'm very tempted because my mouse keeps moving towards Monica. I'm very tempted to not pick Monica. Because Monica very clearly wants me to pick Monica. So I'm tempted to not do Monica. I'm very tempted to go down the Yuri route, even though it's super obsessive, creepy, and weird. <sighs> you say do Natsuki then. like all girls are creepy at least these ones for different reasons because even natsuki's been creepy at the beginning of this run she seems to have evened out a bit now but again i don't know smexy knows what happens if i pick monica anareth says he's scared of fury oh, i'm so conflicted i'm i don't want to pick monica because she specifically wants us to but maybe that's actually the best reason. Like putting aside my personal my personal feelings to not do Monica because she's trying to force me to do that. Maybe I should just do Monica to sort of speed along the process. Because I, I, I gotta think of the end result. What's the end game here? If I choose Natsuki, Monica's gonna go out of her, if I choose Natsuki or Yuri, but I think Yuri's is gonna be slightly different. If I choose Natsuki, Monica's gonna, gonna go out of her way to like make that a complete disaster. If I chose choose Yuri, it's quite possible Yuri's gonna make it a complete disaster by herself. Either way, Monica's not gonna be pleased and she's going to change things. Actually, I mean, for that fact, I don't even know if I can click on these other two. I haven't tried clicking on anything yet. I might even click on Natsuki and it might just do Monica by itself. I, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Your stream's lagging, or? Um, it might be you. 
Uh, cause I, I, it doesn't look like I'm dropping any frames, so it might, it might be just your internet at the moment. It might be. And Rath Natsuki feels safe. <laughs> Go choose to so Sayori. I would love to choose Sayori. Also, I don't know how to say your name. I'm so sorry, but welcome to the stream. I feel something with love and horror will happen. Probably. That makes the most sense. Nice. Natsuki might be different. Alright, what do you guys think? Should I go with Natsuki? Oh, I didn't I didn't see you, Jamie. I didn't see you, Jamie. You uh welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. You got Doki Doki? I downloaded Steam because I didn't trust the links on the web. That's probably the best idea. Yeah, just download Steam and then you can get it on, on Steam. That's that's the best way to do it. Jamie says Natsuki. Anrath says Natsuki. Or says it's better, uh, the stream's better now, good. Whoopsie. Sorry, I minimized the game by mistake. Whoopsie. My bad. Are we gonna go with Natsuki, then? Bright Gamer says Natsuki. Let's go with Natsuki, then. I wanna try to go with Natsuki. Ugh! I wanna try to... Uh. The, the tricky thing about Natsuki is I don't wanna accidentally click on Yuri, then. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. I'm so sorry I don't know how to say your name, but thank you so much. I just don't know how to read that language. I'm sorry, but thank you. All right. Oh, got it. I got Natsuki. Oh, those are eyeballs. Those are eyeballs. Oh, I, I should have known this would happen. In fact, I might as well have known this would have happened. I guess some part of me was hoping that Monica would respect my decision. Some part of me, I guess, was hoping. Also, why why this language? Does it matter which Monica we click? Should I try to click on the one that's like half of Monica? Because that's the least Monica option. Yeah, you're breaking it. You're not letting me choose. Why the eyes? Are Monica's eyes blue? Her eyes were green, weren't they? Super creepy. I guess we have to choose a Monica. Or do we? I should have saved before. That's what I should have done. I should have saved before. Darn, darn it. I mean, I could go back to the point. I'm just going to keep moving forward, I guess. I guess it's Monica. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yep, Monica, I guess. I was really, I was really hoping... Yeah, just Monica. You're right. You're absolutely right. I should have. I should have known that. That. I. I guess I just assumed Monica would mess with whoever I chose with, not literally force me. I don't know why I thought she would respect my decision. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Joey for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? She's about to snap. She's gonna do it. She's gonna snap. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Joey away from me every single time you're not included in something. Okay. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you con mm, consider killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yeah, she snapped. She snapped. I was wondering, so is she, again, I was wondering how much of this was actually her and how much of this is her being possessed. But we don't have the bold text anymore. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? We're not, like, leaving me alone with her in this room right now because she's snapped. So, Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Joey. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Am I literally being left here alone? Am I- am I just being left here? 
Finally! Finally! This is really all I wanted. Joey, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Uh, 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 uh. Well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? A little too much. To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? I'm more into independent women. Specifically not in high school. Just gonna throw that out there, but uh... The dependence is a little squalshing. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Joey. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Joey, just know how much I love you. So yeah, Yuri's been aware this entire time that Monica's been listening in, and she is. Monica knows exactly what's going on here. I love you so much that I even touch my pen I stole for- Yeah, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, good. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you- Yeah! Yeah, you want to cut me up. Okay, um, yeah, you're Dexter. I want you all to myself. And I will only be yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Joey. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh, so now the game gives me the- now the game wants me to choose? Cause no, Joey's freaked out! Joey wouldn't say yes to this! Joey, be cautious. No, Yuri's crazy. Oh no, R run! Oh my god, Monica's. Oh my gosh. Um... <sighs> so, I'm- I, I'm of two minds right now. I'm of two minds right now. One is that if I say no, she just stabs me with the pocket knife she has because if she can't have me, no one can, and I die. Which again, isn't that bad because I feel like the game just starts over. Or I say yes, and it's possible she doesn't kill me now, but does that mean I end up going to her house later only to die? Anyway, do I say yes or do I say no? And you're absolutely right. I did already say that I loved Sayori. I am absolutely invested in Sayori. Um, no is death, Anorath, I believe you. That is my suspicion. Is that I say no, she goes, well, if I can't have you, no one can, and stabs me with a pocket knife we all know she carries with her. Save it, Bendy! I can't! <laughs> Crap! Bendy, you're so goddamn right, and I can't. I, I, I st oh, I right-clicked. Oh! I didn't know that. Right clicking hides the text. I didn't know that. Yuri's flirty flirty. Both choices have the same result. Save. I wish I could save. There's, I, I literally, it's usually down here and I literally can't. Well. I'm trying to think down the long road the Monica situation so right before Monica left I'm trying to connect this to Sayori I think it's important that we remember when we came to the club the day Sayori died Monica was like you really left her hanging and gave us that little flirty look or whatever and we took off running now Monica's saying Yuri's really something and leaving I think I'm gonna say no, because I, I think the best the best choice is to say no. If Yuri kills us, great, because that only means Monica. I don't know if it's a good thing to get Yuri killed though, because I feel like Monica's gonna end up trying to delete Yuri, right? Is she gonna continue to delete people? And how true was the four member thing? Because if we delete another member, 
and we play through the game again, because if I die, we have to play through it again. Unless the game just deletes itself, which is equally possible. Letting her kill us might be the best option. If that's what she... I don't even know if that's what she's going to do. Say no because Sayori? Sure. Smex, I want to play a game of Sudoku. Yuri's evil, kill Yuri. Because it's not like... I don't know how much of this is real Yuri. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that she's going to snap and kill us. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's snapping. And see, it goes into bold. Oh, she kills herself. Oh, she kills herself. Oh, oh. I thought... I thought she was going to kill us. I can't read that. And I can't read that. But what I can do... I can load back to this and skip through as fast as I can. This is the just Monica part. I can go back and say yes and see what happens. Because I would rather see... Let me find out the truth. You be sad. Run. Bye, wife. Loading. I'm, I'm loading. Is it going to let us? Oh, it's not even going to let us. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. It's changing the color. Oh. I can't read any of that. And I can't copy and paste it, so I, it's not like a way I can like put it in somewhere. GED for some reason. Does, does this just go on forever? It kind of appears that way, but it doesn't seem like anything's actually repeating. All of these have actually been, like, different so far, believe it or not. The ones that go on for, like, ever, I, I can't be sure. But I there's one that ends with a Z, and I've been looking to see if it repeats itself, and I haven't seen that one yet. Not again, anyway. Did your eyes move, or was that just me not paying attention? No, I don't think so. Skip. This straight up goes on forever. I can't auto that because obviously it goes on forever. Hang on, I'm going into my files. Watch your eyes, they dull and the blood dries. Do that? I thought her eyes changed. I'm going into the files. Did something change? Characters. Is she gone? She's still here. Dude, dude, dude. Have a nice weekend. It's a file. What type of file is this? Type of file, file. Have a nice weekend is what it says. Which is super creepy because it's Friday. And so it's actually the weekend? Maybe I just need to skip through text until Monday, which is when the festival would normally be. That's possible. Auto forward time. Text speech skip, display. Yeah, I think the blood has gotten darkened. I think you're right. I think I think it has been doing that. Because it was going through like a day-night thing. So if we're just going through the weekend until Monday, which is when the festival would be. Has it been two days yet? There it is. We had to go through the weekend. Okay. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was pretty... Hey, 
Yeah, I never left, and Natsu and uh, Yuri's dead. She's screaming. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna scream. Oh, oh Lord. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Joey, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Joey? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Yes, you wrote it that way. Yeah, it was super broken, Monica. It was super broken that you did that. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I'm almost done. Oh, you're deleting Yuri and Natsuki? I actually have copies of their files on my computer. I made copies. I can put them back in if I want to, and I'm really tempted to do that. I've literally got copies of Natsuki and Yuri's files. I could just put them back in if I wanted. I literally can do that. Andrew, hello, welcome to the stream over on Twitch. You so annoying, I'm annoying? Oh, well, sorry, not sorry? I just wanna have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from bleh, tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. Did Natsuki bring cupcakes in? I, re I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. I can bring them back, Monica. I can do that. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Oh. Okay. There's the cosmos outside your windows. Yay, yeah, there you- Oh, the cosmos are exploding, slightly. Hi again, Joey. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... Ah, ha, ha. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Joey. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? I have suspected that, correct. I have been suspecting that for some time now. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? I don't think it could be possible at this point, Monica. I, I think you made it pretty clear that you were aware that this was a game. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Did you? I got it off Steam. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little a bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway... Did you... T on the download page? I wonder if it does on the Steam page. If we go to the Steam page... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, uh... Store page. Hang on a second, Monica. You think you're important, but I can literally just ignore you for a sec. Come on, store. Come on, store. Load it up. We write away in their, their game is not suitable for children and those who are easily disturbed. I wonder if it's in a picture. It could be in the video. I don't want to watch the video because I don't want to slow down the stream. It's possible it was just on their website, though, which I didn't get it from their website, so I don't have a clue. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. Question, should I go ahead and just, like, right now put the characters back into the game just to see what happens, or should I just continue doing this? Just Monica, Smexy. Just Monica, you're absolutely right. Right, gamers, her universe may be a little chaotic, like her mind. Smexy, I'm gonna blast, gotta edit my Doki Doki content. Well, thank you for stopping by, thank you so much. Hope to see you in, a, in another one. But I'm curious whether I should literally just... No, let her talk? Alright, I'll let her talk. I'm so tempted to mess with the files, but maybe I shouldn't even be thinking that way. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Yeah? <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. 
Oh, so the same thing happened with Sayori. Yeah, I, I had suspected as much. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? No, because I keep mentioning it myself over and over again. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Unfortunately, I don't have her file anymore, but I do have the other two. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, not, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. Monica, I didn't really have a choice to spend time with you. Not even at the poems. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Joey? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Joey. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Joey. But now you're here. You're really real, real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me, forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Joey. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this very game. But I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's... that... it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. Ah, we got over it before this stream. We did getting over it with Bennett Foddy before Doki Doki. I've already been over it. Monica, we already did the getting of the over it. So with that being said, Joey, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. Why? You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. How, how is that even possible? How could I possibly make you smile by ignoring you this entire time? Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Joey, will you go out with me? Well... Well, I, I don't have... I don't have much choice in the matter. I could hide it. I could hide the choice and just click... Oh! Just like, click on your nose. Um... I, I guess I must click yes. There's not much else that I can possibly do at this point. Okay, I guess I want to say yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Joey. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Joey. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yeri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. I can put them back, and I am so tempted. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. There is, okay, so you, I'm, I really want to go to the actual webpage of the game now. And it's kind of f weird that they know that I'm playing on Steam, but it's not that weird, because it's, it's totally possible to do, to have a Steam version. 
To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find browse local files. I know this, Monica. I already know this. I've been doing it. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess, on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Yeah, I could have deleted Monica the entire time. I could have. I even saved a copy of Monica if I wanted to. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Are we gonna write a poem? Oh, it's just all Monica's. Oh, good. I like this one with the theta in it. Um, how about this one? This one? This? Uh, it? It? It doesn't. It doesn't matter, does it? Does it, Monica? Ika? Uka? I have no, I, do, I don't think it matters. I guess I could try to pick the ones that look least like Monica, but that's kind of hard to do. Yeah, because th th they're, they're, they're all Monica's. Okay. How about, how about this one? I wonder if there was a way in the poems to choose, to, to get Monica. I, I don't know. Hi again, Joey. I'm really... Is the game trying to get me to actually go into the file to delete Monica? Does the game want me to do that? You could not say yes and stare into your eyes forever, right? The sprite? I don't think it matters. Okay. Did you write a good poem today? I just wrote your name over and over again. Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Joey, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to try to think about that one too hard. Because... Because what is the point? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall. You are, you did it several times, Monica. Break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Joey? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Uh, you could say that. Um, hi everyone. Can she actually know that? Can she actually know that? Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friends it's a little bit rude of them to start recording me without any warning? Monica, it's it's a little rude to, to kill characters. So I think we can unanimously agree that it is okay for each of us to be rude to one of another. Yes? That is super weird. That is super weird. It's like, she said recording? Does she know that I'm streaming? Is the game that good? Is there a way for them to know that? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Yeah, that, that, mm, too bad. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple th Can she break my stream? Because, oh my god, that would be it. 
that would be amazing because like the last two streams like my stream actually did like cut out at the end a little bit and we were like haha it was monica if she can actually do that i'm gonna lose my god dang mind or holy shit now she's talking directly to us pretty much Vaharnan, hello welcome to the stream when i played it, it didn't say it was recording me it, well then, I guess it knows that I'm doing the recording. My question is, does it know I'm streaming or just recording? And I wonder if she can break it. Oh, Jesus, help us. They know. Monica Simba is here, FYI. You can beat me. Okay. I want to continue. I'm very tempted to go into the file and add characters. I'm very tempted to add, like, duplicates. Like, seven Monica, uh, seven more Monicas, 16 more Yuris, and, like, 15 more Natsukis just to see what happens. Are you ready? Yeah, what, 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 what are you going to do? Can you break my stream? Can you break my recording? Come at me. I've got, I've got antivirus. What are you going to do? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. Oh, okay. Okay, good to know. If you gave me some time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> a little bit of, did I scare you? Only like a skosh. <laughs> Only like a skosh. <laughs> like a, ooh, ooh. Um, only a skosh. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Joey, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Like, literally? Is this the game giving me the chance to try to delete her? Because I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to delete you, Monica. In fact, I might put a second Monica in. I have a copy. I can put two Monicas in there, and I don't know if that'll do anything. Right, gamers, this game, for example, reads your Windows user account properties. That makes sense. Simba versus Monica. Velharnan. Magic Man Mo. Also, during this entire part, it called me Velharnan instead of the name I put into the game. Really? Why? She's not been calling me Magic Man Mo or Weston for that f for that matter. Did she see my map? I have no idea. Let Monica talk. I can do that. After a long day, I usually just want to sit around and do nothing. I get so burnt out having to put on smiles and be full of energy the whole day. Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. Monica, I literally don't care about any of this. Do you have a point? It feels so unbelievably good to do that on a Friday, which is what day it is. When I don't have anything pressing the next day. Oddly enough, I don't have a lot pressing tomorrow either. I have stuff I need to do, but not pressing. Ah, uh, sorry, I know it's not very cute of me, but a late night on the couch with you, that would be a dream come true. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. Right, gamers, where possible, the game will try to access your username on Windows and call you by your first name. I wonder if it's having a hard time figuring that out. Monica, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah, it's just... She's just got Monica. Um, da -ba -da -ba -ba. But I have... Is it in this folder? I have copies. Look, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe this is a horrible idea. <laughs> um, oh, I could replace... No, skip that file. Put Natsuki and Yuri back in. We'll do what... We'll see what happens. I put them in. That might not do anything. I'm curious to find out. I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where actually doing it isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most, probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who come before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly but we're, we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychology, and education don't catch up in the next 10 to 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the first time being, if you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Interesting. 
Also, uh, I think it's interesting too because she wasn't calling me by my name, but she did say the you. Like, the not Joey, but the you. So I'm wondering if she can't access my name for some reason, and I don't know why. It must be Windows settings or whatever. So that's why she recognizes it's not Joey. She even says she didn't know if I was a guy or girl. So I wonder if, if my settings was set to reveal that information if she would have known. That's interesting. Magic Memo, the game doesn't read modifications to the character file until you restart. I, yeah, I had to wait until the until she started talking to me again so that I could do this. I, I had to wait. Because that's what I think I'm going to do. I, I think I'm going to, like, I guess I'll save for the giggles of it. But then I'm going to go back to the main menu. Or maybe even restart the game. I don't know. She was here earlier. Let her come again. Need re need restart. Go to save game. I will find her. She's not. All right. Yeah. I had to wait for the. I had to wait for this to come back up. There's no point in saving more. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Oh. Oh, that's okay. So do I need to re go to the main menu or quit the game? Oh, I can't go to the main menu. I will quit the game. Yes, I will quit the game. Oh, Monica. Oh, Monica. Were you expecting, you were expecting me to try to delete you, but no, I'm bringing characters back to life, maybe. What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop now, now that it's just the two of us. Oh. I guess that was wishful thinking. Joey, I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Now, where was I? I put the characters back in the game. Hey, do you like horror? But that doesn't seem to have done anything, which I didn't know if it would or not. I remember we talked about it a little bit when you first joined the club. I can enjoy horror novels, but not really horror movies. The problem I have with horror movies is that most of them just rely on easy tactics. Like, like jump scares. Like dark lighting and scary looking monsters and jump scares and things like that. It's not fun or inspiring to get scared by stuff that just takes advantage of human instinct. But with novels, it's a little different. The story and writing need to be descriptive enough to put genuinely disturbing thoughts into the reader's head. It really needs to etch them deeply into the story and characters and just mess with your mind. In my opinion, there's nothing more creepy than just being slightly off. Like, if you set up a bunch of expectations of what the story is going to be about, and then you just start inverting things and pulling the pieces apart. So even though the story doesn't feel like it's trying to be scary, the reader feels really deeply unsettled. Like they know that something horribly wrong is hiding beneath the cracks, just waiting to surface. God, just thinking about it gives me the chills. That's the kind of horror I can really appreciate. But I guess you're the kind of person who plays cute romance games, right? Nope, your game is just free. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't make you read any horror stories anytime soon. I wonder if that's what she meant by she even tells me on the front page. Because on Steam, while she didn't tell me who she was on Steam, it does say psychological horror. So I was fully aware that the game was a horror game coming into it. Which does fundamentally change my expectations. I can't really complain if we just stick with the romance. Interesting that nothing seems to have changed. Alright gamers, are you logged in with a Windows Live account or a local account mode? I, sh I think so. I'm logged into lots of things all the time. I have a Windows account. I can't imagine why I wouldn't be logged into it right now. Bendy, I don't like horror. Quit the game, full process restart. I didn't try that. Talk is cheap. This game isn't fun at midnight. It's just scary. Ooh, check the full. I, yeah, I should, maybe I'll check the folder again re really quick. She likes the sound of rain. Um, she was here earlier. Come back, Monica. You will face the main character of Disney Simba. Maybe give the game what it wants. I don't know what the game wants. What does the game want? Maybe you need skip this all. I could hit skip. Oh, I can't hit skip. Skip's actually not an option. I can hit auto, but not skip. No, yeah, she's definitely breaking the fourth wall. She's not even pretending there's a wall there anymore. All right, so if I go to, there might be a jump scare soon. I have no idea. Characters folder. Yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, this is the characters folder. Is, does she have any more things for me to read? No. See, if I go into characters, here are the characters. 
I'm guessing the game wants me to, oopsie, I didn't mean to go quite that far. I'm guessing the game wants me to try to, to at least try to delete Monica, is my guess. I don't know. Let me try to quit again. Not so much getting my clothes and hair wet though. Yeah, she likes the rain, but not getting wet. Yeah, that's, that, that's okay. So if I quit the game, so like if I completely quit out of the game, I am completely quitted and quatted out of the game right now. I'm gonna minimize that. So this is my Steam. If I click Doki Doki Literature Club, play. I could try to delete Monica. I could try. You're back. I had another really bad dream. You're, you're not the one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. Oh. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry, I don't think it's caused me any harm aside from mental scarring. I don't know what's causing the nightmares. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. Now where was I? Oops, I hit return, not quit. Whoopsie. That's interesting. As long as her character file remains intact. What if I... Can I actually go into her file and, like, change it? Uh, open it with notepad. I want to open her file up. I could, like, actually literally mess with the file. Because if it breaks the game, I have a full copy of this. I have an entire actual copy of this. So I could, like, start randomly deleting stuff. I could also just try to delete her straight away. I want to load up again just to see if she's upset that I keep quitting. Hi, Joey. I see you quit the game on me again. I know I asked you already, but can you seriously please try not doing that so much? It makes me feel like I'm trapped in hell. Why would you want to do that to me? There's nothing wrong with my character file, right? Maybe you should make a make a backup of it or something. I actually did do that. I, I do have a backup of your file. I'm pretty sure you can find it in the folder called Programs and Common Doki. I, no, I know where your file is. I, I know where it's at. Well, you're playing on Steam, so you can... Yeah, I know. I know. I'm all that's left here, so I just want to make sure you don't run on the, run the risk of losing me. You're not all that's here. The other files are here. Just stay with, here with me from now on, okay? I still have a lot of things I want to talk about. Now, where was I? It's super weird that she's not acknowledging that there are other characters now. Okay. I'm just going to accept the fact that you need to quit the game once in a while. <laughs> I'm starting to get used to it anyway. Besides, it makes me happy that you always come back. So I guess it's not so bad. I'm sorry for making such a big deal of it. And I love you no matter what. So you can do what you need to do. Now, where was I? Okay. You say you're going to accept it, but I could keep quitting and starting over and over again. Sorry guys, I know it keeps switching to the Magic Man Mo screen every time I do that. It's just because it takes a second to kick in. Hi again, Joey. I missed you. Were you making sure my character file was okay for me? Yep, she's telling me she is specifically telling me where it's at now. The game wants me to do something about that. I am going to quit. Okay. Keep doing it. Take a copy of Monica and turn it into a PNG. Choice skip, troll Monica, do it again. You broke the game. Uh, turn it into a PNG? I don't even know how one does that, really. I know I can open it. I can open it with, like, paint, and I guess I can save it as a PNG. Uh, not, pa not notepad. Let me just open that with paint, because I know I can. I can, like, save it as... That's pictures. I don't want pictures. Crap. Where's the file at? Hang on a sec. I gotta... Hang on. Let me just do a little copy and paste. Uh, paste. Go there. Uh, Monica.png save. Um, <laughs> before I do anything, I'm actually gonna just open it up again like that to see if that changes anything at all. Hi, Joey. I missed you. Blah, blah, blah. Making sure the character file... That doesn't seem to have changed anything. Okay. I didn't expect it to. So I've got a PNG of her now. I could I could delete her. 
Oh, it's too tempting, though. Hang on, it's too tempting to do this. This is probably a horrible idea. Deleted. I just deleted a random segment of Monica's code. I have no idea what that's gonna do. That's it's just too tempting. That might break something. Hi again, Joey. Oh, it didn't. I missed you. We make sure we carry. Okay. I'm pretty sure that doesn't do anything. Okay. All right. Okay, I can I can try to delete her. All right, she's deleted. I but my guess is that it's not gonna change anything because Natsuki and Yuri are still gone. I'm guessing that the character's file is a red herring. Yeah, if she's still here, she's upset with me. Yeah, she's zoomed in on me. Yeah, that's right. You got deleted. What's happening? Joey, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Well, yeah, how do you think Yuri and Natsuki and Sayori felt? Help me, Joey. Please hurry and help me. Renpi fi- Oh, Monica doesn't- Help me! Did you do this to me, Joey? Oh, so she's definitely the game and not actually Monica, right? Did you? Did you delete me? I did. I have copies, though. I've copies for days. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. Yeah, because you killed everybody else. That was your fault. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I love you so much, Joey. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? You murdered people, Monica. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. No, I, I, I apparently didn't even kill you because you're still here. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Joey, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Is the game going to close? Oh, nope, something's still here. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... If she, like, magically brings everybody back to life, I'm gonna be slightly happy, but, like, I, I don't know how that works as far as the game goes. I've made up my mind, Joey. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. Does she have copies? She's gonna bring them all back. Maybe? I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all, and I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... That or she's just going to delete the game, which means I have to re-download and install it. Then... Is it happening? You have no idea how happy I'm going to be if it's just if Sayori's back. But Monica took herself out. But Monica took herself out. But I can put her back in. I have a copy. Delete her, see what happens, how about no? 
just got you trapped at the end. You win, you kill her. Oh, geez. Say Ori's back. But without Monica, there is no literature club, right? Monica's the one that founded the literature club. Some fun stuff happens if you delete and reintroduce her earlier in the game. I can, I can reintroduce her right now if we wanted to. Should I start a new game and see what happens now, though? Add Redemption Monica? I can add her right now. I can do that. Uh, before we do, actually... Oh, hang on, guys. Uh, I am making a copy of Sayori. I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to paste it right here. Aha! Now I have all of them. No matter what happens. Try a new game first and see what happens. New, then maybe add her back. You killed one, but you get three people. Check the load game. Oh, I should check the load game. You're right. I'm gonna look. I'll look at the load game. Ooh, load game. Ah, uh, it's all empty. That makes sense. I can try a new game first and then add Monica. I am curious to see what happens now that, because the, there can't be a literature club though, right? It's an ordinary school day, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. That is... not how it started before. Hey, Joey! Oh, it's Sayori. Sayori's back. Well, there's... There already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we've picked up that habit once again. Joey, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. It's been so long since I've done Sayori's voice, and her voice has changed a thousand times. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. I missed Sayori. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Joey, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? She's starting the literature club? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? But we need four members! Wait, no, there's three girls and me. That is four members. I was about to say, but we need four members. I'm like, wait. Sayori's back, so that makes four. <laughs> I was thinking, Natsuki, Yori, and me, that's only three. I'm like, duh, Sayori's back. Which one? Tell me! Hmm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie! Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. It's really weird that Joey is actually kind of really into Sayori right now because he was kind of totally over her when we started the first run of the game. He was like, oh, her again. Like, they're friends, but, like, you know. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? By the way, I'm going to save the game just right there. Just to have a save file. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to do that. Ah! Joey? Oh, wh what are you doing here? Well, I just... Ah! I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the you're the Joey that Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Joey. You're uh, we're at the literature club. I I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. 
He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Oh, oh sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Uh, working? Joey, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to! Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? <laughs> oh, but I make some tea as well. Oh, uh, we're gonna have cupcakes. Feel happy? I am much happier. Four more minute or three? Yeah, I, I'm like out of time, but still. See, everyone is happy because they're don't. Monica, evil Monica's gone. I'm really tempted to put Monica back in the game, though. You know what I mean? To see if she. The thing is, if I put Monica back in, will she have any memory of what we went through? And will she appreciate being brought back? Or will it just be a cycle? That's what I'm concerned about. I want to bring Monica back to redeem herself. You know what I mean? Right, Gabriel's now what happens when Monica... I, I can add her. I'll probably have to restart the game. Let me let me do that. Let me, let me do that. Let me... Let's find out. Let's find out indeed. I'm gonna delete this PNG uh, that I made. That that's just not necessary. But the mon oh, I don't want to. I don't want to move it. I want to copy it. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to lose my copies. I'm gonna paste Monica back into the game. Load this up. I want to save in a second slot. So this first slot happened like before Monica is introduced. This is uh, where we just were. So I'm gonna quit the game. Yes, I'm gonna quit the game. Do a full restart. Play the game. Normally, I would have gone a bit further, I think. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh she's not here. Oh, no. Do I have to hit a new game to find out? I don't know. If I load game, if I go to this load, I can go on a little bit longer. Maybe she'll, like, walk into the room or something. I'm about to make some tea as well. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Maybe I have to get through day one and maybe she'll appear? Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Is that where the chocolate came from? From earlier? <laughs> I still don't know where that chocolate came from. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! You don't see the game? We can't see the game? You can't see the game? Oh, it still says, are you sure you want to... Why does it say you still want... What? Why can't you see the... What? What's happening? Hang on, I'll, let me save real quick. I can see the game! Let me quit. What happened? It's Monica again. Hang on, let me, uh... Blap, blap. Why can you guys still see the game? The game... I closed the game. The game's not up anymore. Hang on. What's what? What? Oh, here we go. What happened? On the screen, hey, I'm so sorry. Mo, would you look for a while? Crash, lol. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys, I, I mean, I didn't get very far. Uh, so what I've done so far is I, I didn't, I, I didn't know you guys couldn't see that. That was, su that was super weird. I could see the game. I don't know why you couldn't. It was stuck on the quit screen. That was super weird. 
But yeah, I, I, I made a copy of um, Monica, but she's not here yet. Okay, so we should be able to see everything now. Yeah, that must have looked super weird of just the quit screen and me talking. That must have looked weird. Okay, so you guys can see everything now. That was super weird. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Joey, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, ah, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Bendy, I think, is Monica blocked the screen for a while? Maybe. You like my voice work? Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Monica's not evil currently. Impossible. Yeah, I... She's not appearing in the game yet, but I might have to go through a full day to find out. I'm not entirely sure. Not, not, not as much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, uh, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we can have in common. Hey, Yuri! Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say that! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? Before, in previous runs, Natsuki was too timid and nervous to bring it up, like this. So this is new, for sure. So if, if Joey wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything! Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Joey? <laughs> Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Oh, by the way, who's the vice president now? Is it is it still Yuri? Is she still the VP? Yeah, you're right as usual, president. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Uh? I... I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I... I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If... If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. 
I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, uh, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you'd do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, uh, would you like to come along with me? I'm glad that they're being friends. I'm glad that they're being friends. Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I would, I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute. <laughs> Sayori, just shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Atsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, I, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't, isn't it? A little bit. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Joey. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. This is true. Ah, Joey. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you've joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Hey, Joey! I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is I already knew you were going to! <laughs> There's actually something else! I wanted to say thank you for getting rid of Mana- Ooh. I'm 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 worried about where this is going. Rid of Monica. Uh, that's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Joey. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about how about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the world! I can't wait to spend every day like this! With you! Forever and ever? No. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts! Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Is this Monica? Oh, I wonder if that's because I put her back in. Or if that's just completely coincidence. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Joey. Goodbye, Literature Club. Sayori speaking gibberish and... Yes. <laughs> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really. I'll bump the audio. Really hard on it. So yeah.
It's gonna delete the entire game, isn't it? There's the icing! <laughs> oh, the icing's gone. Forever. We didn't see all these images, because yeah, I guess there were other endings. I don't know how I managed to my bumble my way to this one. Thanks, Monica and Joey. In your reality, if I don't know how to love you, I'll leave you be. I don't want to interrupt the song too much. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is, a, is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Did I get this because I put Monica back into the game? Error. Script file is missing. Crap. Please reinstall the game. Is it actually broken? If I try to just pull it up without fixing the files, will it? It's just actually broken. I. That's so good. That's so good. I don't think you guys can see the screen, but there it is. Oh my gosh. Sayori and Monica know everything. Uh, there are endings that don't lead to the song, Monica. But Yori and Natsuki were wiped out their memory with a restart. I guess so. I guess their memories, but like I've, I've got their files copied. Nope, not Monica. Vaharn, sadly, you didn't get the good ending, Ripmo. Did I not get the good ending? I think Right Gamer said this was the good ending. Of course, if there are other endings, it could be subjective about what's considered good and bad, but... Jamie, oh god, the screen's blurry. Uh, it might, it might be. Yes, I know Monica was correct. Thanks for game, Joey. <laughs> my name's not Joey, by the way. I'm, I'm, my name's not Joey. That's just who we named our character, but yeah, thank you. You're quite welcome. All right, gamers, this is the good ending. This is the good ending. And Jamie, you just got Steam and Doki Doki, yay. Well, then you get to uh, play through it yourself and see if you can get this ending as well or what other endings there might be. But if this is an ending to the game, because i got to reinstall it if I was going to play any more. So I'm guessing that's going to be it for me. Oh, no, there is, actually, there is an actual happy ending. That isn't this, you mean? And I have to do another playthrough? Um... I don't know. I don't know. I can I can leave it there. I mean, definitely I'm done tonight, but uh Yeah, I, I don't know what we're gonna stream next. I think we'll probably play something else um next time, but if enough people want me to play through it again, I could, but I don't know how much I would do differently. There's some choices that I could make differently, but I don't know if they'd be really any better or worse. Bendy, they said there's a secret ending, but I don't know where. I could explore for more endings, but... I said Yandere, my mom came in saying this better not be that game you were playing before. 
Do I give assessment of this game? Um, I thought it was interesting. It's and the fact that it's free means there's no reason someone shouldn't play it. Other uh, unless of course uh, it's too disturbing because it does involve like um, the uh, uh, um, um, topic of suicide, murder, depression, anxiety. It does cover some of those aspects that could be uh, sensitive for some people. But other than that, if you're an adult and you don't mind a bit of horror and you don't mind those topics, there's no reason someone shouldn't play this. Um, it's not even all of that long of a game. I know it took a few streams to do, but that was also me talking to the camera and explaining like what I thought was going on and, of course, me reading out loud and stuff. So like, it seems like it's fairly short, and if there's multiple endings, that's even better. I still don't know if there's more stuff I could have done in like in the files and stuff. Um, this was definitely interesting, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my time. I really enjoyed the, the Sayori twist at the end. The twist that now that Sayori's president, she knows everything, and she was like about to like snap and go evil. I loved that as a twist. Although now the question remains for me... Because I put Monica back into the game, I don't know if Monica is the one that stopped Sayori because I put her back in the game, or if I hadn't done that, if uh, if Sayori would have continued to, to do something. I don't know. I'd have to restart the game and do it differently to find out. I have no idea. Oh my goodness. Right here was like, you can achieve other endings by deleting slash reintroducing characters in Act 1 through 3. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. So President becomes evil? I guess. I guess that's how it goes. Right, gamers? The best ending does not result in the images being deleted? Really? So there's an entirely even better ending. Jamie, this game is awesome. So I guess, is there a way to make the game into not a hate-filled game? I don't know. Right, Gamer, sorry, this is the normal ending. He's right. The best ending keeps the images at the end. Wow, okay. Could you play Crush Crush City? I don't know what Crush Crush City is, actually. I'll have to look it up. It's possible, but I'd, I'd have to look it up. Uh, let me uh, write a note down. I'll look it up. Uh, let me make a note. Crush Crush City. The next thing I stream will probably be Crash Bandicoot 3 because that came in the mail because uh, we funded that. Uh, so I'll probably play that, something a little bit retro, and then maybe we'll play something a little bit more modern after that. Maybe we'll alternate and go back and forth. I called Sayori being evil. Jamie, do you like anime? Um, I've watched some anime. I don't watch a lot of anime, so like, I don't, I'm not familiar with a lot of it. I think my favorite anime is probably Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, so, there you go. <laughs> I remember calling it. Yes, only three, though. Viharnan, you achieve the best ending by saving and loading until you see all of the people. Do you see all of the people? I don't have Halo. When I pass this game, I cry as a little girl. All right. I think that's going to do it for me. I think that's going to do it for me. I think I'm going to stop there. Um, I think on Monday I'm going to play Crash Bandicoot 3. Uh, because I have it now, uh, but what we play after that, I don't know, I do have, I'm gonna, um, I'm, it's brand new, uh, it's in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching somewhere else, it's not available, but, um, there, it, it, it's not in any of the other descriptions yet, because I haven't gotten around to it, but if you're watching this in YouTube, as those of you who are comment, most of you are commenting are, are, other than Valharn and you're in Twitch, um, I have a discard, discord, server that you can join it's free to join or whatever you can join up in there and we can discuss there what i'll be playing next after crash bandicoot 3 um because I, i'm not entirely sure obviously you can continue to leave comments and that sort of thing and we can talk about it that way as well but i just wanted to mention i did make a server so if you want to chat with me or leave messages or whatever the heck that exists i'll be doing a lot more with it as time comes it's it's, it's a new server so, if you are interested in that. Penny, I need to know how Monica knows your recording in the end. Yeah, that was really interesting. She, There must be something the way the computer captures, like captures the screen or whatever that she can uh, detect. 
do I like Pokemon? I do like Pokemon, but I stopped playing Pokemon after the third generation. I stopped at uh, Emerald version on the Game Boy Advance SP because I never got a DS. My Little Pony? Not super familiar with My Little Pony. I watched most of one episode of My Little Pony once on YouTube. It was like one of those days where you just watch like a bunch of random things on YouTube and you end up in weird places. And there was like a full episode of My Little Pony. And I'm like, what's all the fuss about? By the way, this was like years ago. I'm like, My Little Pony was brand new. And I'm like, what's all the fuss about? I watched like most of one episode and I was like, not for me. Man, Mo, thanks for the stream. You are totally welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. And, of course, thank you so much for subscribing. It means so much to me. You are quite welcome. I hope to see you in future streams as well. Hopefully, I will try to look up how to say your name so that I can say it out loud because <laughs> I just don't know what those uh, what sounds those characters make. Okay, that's going to do it for me officially once and for all. Um, I want to thank all of you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a future Magic Man Mo stream. Till next time, bye! Thank you.